in today's video. I will be showing you how to fix Windows 10 Microsoft apps not opening on your PC or laptop. So the first thing we want to do is just ensure you have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. So to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You now need to click on settings and you now need to go ahead and click on update and security. And you now need to click on check for updates. And if there are any updates available, Windows will then begin to download and install them. And as you can see, I'm completely up to date, which is great news. But if your system did detect new updates, install them, restart Windows, and then see if that helped fix the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is close down settings, and you now need to open up the start menu icon again. And this time you need to go ahead and type in Microsoft Store. You now need to click on Microsoft Store, and you now need to click on the three dots, and you now need to click on Downloads and Updates. You now need to go ahead and click on Update All, or click on Get Updates if there are no available updates. As you can see, I have a massive list there actually of available updates, 35 of them. So you need to now go ahead and click on Update All if you have updates available. I'm actually not going to click on the button because I'm recording at the moment and I don't want it to mess up my recording. Go ahead and see if that has fixed the issue with your apps not opening. If you still cannot open up the apps, then the next thing we need to do is open up File Explorer. You now need to click on this PC and you now need to right click on your C drive. You then need to click on Properties and you now need to click on Tools and you now need to click on check under error check it. You now need to go ahead and click on scan drive and this is basically going to scan our drive for any errors and if it does detect any issues it will then go ahead and try and repair them. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this running and once it has finished it will then say if it did detect any issues and if it did resolve them. Okay so my error check in has finished and it didn't detect any issues. So we can now go ahead and move on to the next step, but if yours did detect issues, then restart your PC and then go ahead and see if you can now launch the apps. If you can, then the next thing is we need to right click on the start menu icon again. You now need to go ahead and click on settings. You now need to click on update and security, and you now need to go ahead and click on troubleshoot. Now click on additional troubleshooters, Scroll all the way down until you find Windows Store apps. We now want to click on Run the Troubleshooter and it will now begin to see if it can detect any issues. As you can see, straight away it says User Account Control has been turned off. I know this wouldn't cause an issue with apps not opening, so I can now go ahead and click on Skip this step. It will now scan for more issues to see if it can detect the problem. As you can see there, it's starting the bit service which is all to do with the Windows Store apps. So troubleshooting has now completed. It didn't actually detect any problems with my system, but if yours did, see if you can now run your apps. And with a bit of luck, you can. However, if you still can't, then don't panic because there is still one more thing that we can do. You now need to click on the link that's in the description below. You will now end up on our computersluggish.com website. We now need to scroll down and you now need to copy this code here. You now need to go ahead and open up the start menu and type in PowerShell. We now need to run this as an administrator and we now need to go Control M V to paste the code in and then press enter. Once the command has finished running in PowerShell, go ahead and restart your PC and then see if that fixes the issue with your apps not opening. If your Microsoft apps still aren't opening, then the only other things you can try is creating another user account and see if you can open apps up in that account. If you can, then you will need to transfer all your data across to your new user and then use that user profile. Or if that doesn't work, then the only other thing, unfortunately, would probably be to reset Windows 10. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. 
I hope this tutorial did help you out and you did enjoy it. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.